Hello everyone. In the previous video, I download function block into the PLC sim. And inside that function block, we have a different and common used the motion control instructions. For example, the access home, velocity move and move absolute and jog and halt and stop. And we download those program into the PLC sim. And before we test this function block, I recommend we use the access control panel to test the access so we can verify the mechanical system. Also, we can verify the direction, the speed, and the positioning distance. And after those verification, we can shift to the program test. And in this video, we will mainly test our program. And I will show once we trigger the jog, trigger the move absolute or move relative, how that positioning will move. Okay, let's go to the programming side. This is the function block we built in the previous videos. I used the couple videos to introduce how we can program the MC instructions. For example, home, move relative, move absolute, stop, halt. So those instructions inside this function block. And when we program this FB function block, our target is to use this function block as our template. And in this video, I will show how can we online test motion control. If I hit this online, and firstly, let's recite the fault. So, and then let's power on this access. Keep in mind, our power need to be leave at on this signal. And then let's trigger this home, set the current position to home position. Now its value is a 370. We assume the current position will at zero. So we need to home this access, for example, set. Then we will see this actual position is initialized to a zero position. Let's manually jog forward, turn on. So you can see this axis is moving. If I turn off this uh, command, jog forward, the speed will go zero. If I turn on this jog backward, we need to hold it on. If I turn this off, the axis will stop. So basically, we can use this two bit to manually control our axis. Next, that is a move relative. Move relative is very common used motion control command for the automatic control. And once we trigger this command, our access will based on the current position and travel the certain distance based on your setting. The direction could be forward or backward. Okay, let's set this 170 to this distance command first. So let's set. And then let's trigger this execute MC move relative trigger. Once it's called trigger, we will see so it will travel to 370. It will relative move 170, okay? Okay, this is the move relative. Next, let me show the move absolute. The move absolute is very common used motion control command. At this instruction, we need to set the target position. And once we trigger this instruction, the access will travel to this position. For example, let's set 2000. Okay, and once I trigger this move absolute, wherever it at, so it will travel to the 2000, this actual position. And once we transfer this value, let's trigger this, let's trigger this move absolute, this command. So let's click this uh, execute. So if I turn this off, we will see it's still traveling. Once we trigger this instruction, so the access will run this command and control the drive to this position, to the 2000 this position. And once this access stop, so this standstill will turn on, means this access is now moving. Okay. Now if I set zero, okay, and if I trigger this move absolute, let's test this hot or stop. Okay, let's trigger this absolute move. Okay, it's traveling. And now if I turn on this hot, trigger it. So we will see 
the access will stop there or is travel too short. And now let's set up 5000. And let's test the heart first. Let's trigger this absolute move. Now the axis is moving. And if now I trigger, turn on this MC hot. So we'll see the axis will stop at this position. If I turn this off, it will not move. It will stop at this position. If we trigger this move absolute again, so it will keep going based on this current position until it reaches this position setting. Now, once we triggered it, so the axis will travel to this 5000, our target position. So it will add this 5000. Okay. This is hot. Once we give this trigger, it will stop the axis movement. And in actual cases, so if this axis is controlling one actual server motor, so you will find after we execute this hot, our drive is still energized, still with the power. This is different with the stop. That is the reason usually we will call that pause the axis rather than stop the axis. That's why it named hot. And let's test it again. So if I set zero, and let's trigger it movement. Okay, let's set a zero and let's trigger it. So access is moving. Turn on the hot. Okay, it stopped here. And we can see now I will leave this hot, this execution command on. And if I trigger this move absolute again, let's see if this movement can execute this motion. Okay, we can see once I trigger this new movement, the axis will keep traveling, even if our heart leaves it on, because this MC heart, this command, need to be a trigger signal. Leave this on will not work. Comparing with the heart, the MC stop will have a higher priority to stop the axis. The MC stop shows a different behavior. So let me demonstrate. Now let's turn this off, and then let's set 6,000, let's set a longer. And let's start to travel. Move absolute. Trigger. Now the axis is moving. If we turn this on, MC stop. So the axis will stop here. If I re-trigger this motion, okay? So let's turn it on, trigger it. We can see the MC will show arrow and the axis will now move. Because this MC stop is on. It will hold all other command. So this will be very helpful. So in case our logic accident trigger this motion, but if this MC stop keep it on, so it will not move the axis. Okay. If we turn this off and if we re-trigger this axis, If we leave this off and let's re-trigger this move absolute, okay, turn this off and trigger it again. So we can see it will keep traveling if this MC stop is off. So this is the key difference between the hot and the stop. So if we leave on as this MC stop, other motion command will not work. Here, let me mention some important things. When we're traveling by this move relative and the move absolute, if we go back to the program, so what the setting speed when it's doing this motion? So now at here, the velocity we set minus one, and this velocity we set minus one. So minus one means the motion will run as a default speed. So if we go to the configuration, Go to the dynamic default values. 
So here it shows velocity. This is the default speed. If we set a minus one at the velocity setting, so the motion will run with this speed setting. Keep in mind this. Okay, now we are using the rotary. And let me demonstrate if we shift to the linear. So we shift to the linear and our unit change to the millimeter. And velocity, that is a millimeter per second. And then let's shift to the mechanics here. So this motor revolution, this time we can set, we leave to the 10 times. And this lead school pitch, that means at this one rotary, what the distance is travel at the low side. So for example, if we can set 100, so basically that means, so here we set a 10 at this uh, numbers of the motor revolution and the load at one. That means if the motor rotate 10 revolutions, so this lead school will rotate one revolution. And here for this one revolution at here, our load will travel 100 millimeter. That is a 100 millimeter per rotary here. That means if our motor does one revolution, so our load will travel 10 millimeter. This is their revolution. And now if we download this TO and let's test the actual speed and actual velocity. Okay, let's download, compile, and download. Okay, we need to stop this uh, simulator. Download. Okay. Start this module. Okay. And then shift back to this watch table and start monitor. And let's set this 20,000 to this move relative and let's turn on this MC power. Write the value, turn this on and set the value. And now let's trigger this move relative, trigger this command. And now this axis is moving and we can see the actual speed that is a 600 and actual velocity that is 100. And according to the speed, now it's a 600 and the velocity that is 100. Let me explain a little bit deeply. So here, that velocity that represents this axis, that based on our setting, the unit setting, that is 100 millimeter per second. And since our least school pitch, that is 100 minute per rotary, so that means, so the actual velocity of this axis, that is a one rotary per second. And then based on this value, and since our load gear, that is a motor, that is a 10, and numbers of the load revolutions, that is a one, that is a 10 over one. So convert to the, the encoder side, the, the motor side, that is a 10 revolution per second. So this 10 revolution per second, that means that is a 600 revolution per minute. So that's actually, that's the encoder speed. So this speed represents the encoder speed. And since this encoder mounted at the end of the motor on motor shaft, so that represents the motor speed, that is a 600 rotary per minute. So that is why showing in the monitoring this watch table, so the speed showing 600, that's 600 rotary per minute, but this 100 actual velocity, that's the 100 millimeter per second, because that is the, the lead school. So this is the key difference between the rotary axis type and linear axis type. And since when we select the rotary axis type, the unit basically we will select the degree. But if we select the linear, access type, 
our unit basically would be millimeter or meter per second. So millimeter per second, we will transfer to the speed that will be the different because uh, basically the speed come from the encoder, but our load side that basically come from our velocity, this value. So this is the difference between the rotary and the linear. Other than this, basically all the instruction when we trigger the motion, uh, relative move, absolute move, jog, or velocity control, they are all the same. Okay. And now if we shift back to this uh, commissioning here, if we are controlling one actual hardware, so we can activate this master control and oh, the access is still moving, so it cannot be take over. Well, if you are controlling one actual server control motor, so we can adjust the parameter at right here. Basically idea, this is a the PID control uh, or the K control. So we adjust the parameter here. And also if we scroll down and add here, let's expand here. This is the access position and actual speed, velocity and actual velocity. Because if we are using the hardware, definitely our velocity setting and actual velocity, they will not be the same. So we will see the actual velocity will follow this velocity and the actual position will also follow that setting position. This trace function will be very helpful, especially when we are doing the speed or positioning control optimization. For example, if our speed has a overshoot, so tune the K parameter, it can optimize where this speed trace and curve. All right, this is our topic today. So in the previous video, we set up this function block. And in this function block, we include all the important MC function block for the motion control, home, power, reset, jog, velocity control, relative positioning control, and absolute positioning control. And based on the technology object, this TO and this function block, we can use the virtual access to do this uh, test. So we use this uh, watch list we turn on the power of this uh, axis and uh, we can trigger the jog, trigger the movement, trigger the move absolute and the move relative. So we will see the actual speed and actual position for the testing purpose. This function block, I used this function block style for a couple projects before. It's very convenient. That's my personal style. So if you need to do some positioning control for the single axis, especially for the multiple axis, it will very handy. And basically, I use seven videos from 03A to 03G. Uh, seven videos talk about how can we use the motion control in the TIA portal, build up one single access. We set up the TO and set up this function block to implement the motion control and uh, demonstrated the common used motion control command. For example, the access power on, home, move, relative, move absolute, stop, and hot. And in this video, I mainly talk about the online test. And to check out the detail, please review my previous videos. This is 03 from A to 03G. This is single access motion control in TIA portal. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.